हेलो 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 गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन थैंक्स फॉर कमिंग माय नेम इज लोरेंसो आई एम वन ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजर्स ऑफ द इवेंट टुनाइट एंड बिफोर वी गेट स्टार्ट व्हाई इज इट ट्रेम्बलिंग इट्स इट्स अ फ्रेम इट्स अ फ्रेम No, no, it's a frame. It's, it's a frame. I thought it's a frame. Well, anyway, um, before we get started with the talks, I'm going to give you a um, quick introduction. So this is the second uh, talk and play, and uh, just like the previous one, it's uh, organized uh, with the support of uh, Open Tech School. Open Tech School is a community initiative offering um, free tech-related uh, workshops and meetups to uh, people of all genders, backgrounds, and experience levels. The uh, goal of Open Tech School is to create a friendly learning environment where no one feels shy about uh, asking any questions. And everyone is invited to participate and get in contact to organize uh, Open Tech School all around the world. There are already Open Tech School events going on. It all started in Berlin, but there are events going on uh, in other parts of Germany, as well as in uh, Australia, in Sweden, and uh, soon they will take over. Uh, all <laughs> <laughs> and um, if you're interested and you would like to find out more, maybe get involved, uh, meet the people behind it and other people uh, involved in Open Tech School, Tomorrow evening, there are going to be the Open Test School drinks, which take place every four weeks. I'm not sure about the location, but it will be here, around here in the area. Probably, uh, I don't know, like, wh where was it last time? Bato Ivre. Bato Ivre last time. Might be there, NPN. But if you check the meetup page later or tomorrow, you will find the location there. It's a good opportunity to go and meet uh, <coughs> some of the guys involved and ask them questions if you want to, uh, to, to get to get uh, started with Open to School. And uh, also, uh, next week, uh, exactly one week from now, same place, same time, there's going to be the monthly learners meetup, which is uh, um, an event structured as a short talk followed by a mini bear camp. And it's an opportunity for, uh, for learners, for people who are just getting started with, pro with programming. It's an opportunity for them to uh, meet more experienced developers and uh, ask them questions. And it's an opportunity for the more experienced developers to uh, train uh, their uh, mentoring skills and their coaching abilities. And uh, you can also find more information about this on the meetup.com page. So that's about Open to School. Uh, talk and play. So why are we organizing this? Um, well, I'm. I strongly believe that uh, Berlin has a huge potential uh, of becoming an important uh, center for uh, video games uh, creation. There are already lots of people, lots of individuals doing games, uh, small independent studios and some larger uh, companies, but mostly doing social gaming, but not only. And, um, and it's growing and there's also like some people also more and more people moving in the city, and as we know, Berlin is full of uh, interesting and skilled people also. Maybe we don't do games, but developers or, or musicians or visual artists, and I think there's the potential for, for something great to happen. And I, I believe that in order to move a bit to the, to the next stage, uh, the, let's call it the, the scene here in Berlin, uh, needs a bit maybe more uh, coordination and uh, and it needs to have like opportunities uh, to to give opportunities for people who are doing games to meet and exchange uh, knowledge and uh, and experience. And I hope that yeah, talk and play can help a bit in this sense by showcasing uh, <coughs> local local games and developers. And um, who is this event aimed at? Well, uh, pretty much everyone really. Uh, first of all, people uh, who like to play games. Uh, for these people, they, these people they can come and play local stuff, <coughs> games made by local developers. And uh, people who'd like to create their own games but don't know where to start, these people they can come and learn by meeting more experienced uh, developers and ask them questions and share, uh, share resources. And uh, for people who are already doing games, it's also uh, an opportunity to uh, come and showcase these games, promote the, their creations, and also get um, get some playtesting and also meet other other developers and again share 
share experiences. And last but not least, it's also for people who want to drink. <laughs> and drinks are 150 euros, and they're available from the fridge uh, down there. It sounds like a joke, but drinks are actually extremely important because uh, Co-op, the co-working space, which is uh, hosting us tonight, is kindly uh, allowing us to use uh, the space uh, for free. And actually, it gives the space for free to all uh, community initiatives, non-profit community initiatives. And um, by uh, drinking, by paying for drinks, you're uh, <laughs> uh, you're uh, you're you're allowing them. To, they, 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 it helps them pay the the bills, the rent, and uh, the heating. And uh, so it, it basically it helps more events like this to to take place. So the more you drink, the better. <laughs> and um, the event uh, token play is uh, organized in uh, collaboration with the monthly Berlin mini game jam which takes place uh, every month since uh, three years now and it's a monthly game creation workshop uh, the next event is going to take place in a couple of weeks and um, it's uh, it's a free event it starts uh, it takes place on a Saturday it starts at uh, 12 people meet at 12 and uh, uh, alone or in groups, they uh, create uh, a game in eight hours, usually a, a prototype of a game. And, um, and at the end of the day, at 9 p.m., then these games are presented. And uh, uh, both the game jam during the day and the presentations are free and open to everyone. So if you're interested in, in trying uh, making a game, and I uh, strongly uh, suggest you to try at least once, you, you should go there at 12 uh, at noon or, or early. And, um, and if you're just curious about seeing what, what they're doing, go at 9 uh, in the evening because it's, uh, it's really a it's really fun, uh, fun, fun event, the, the presentations. And tonight we're also going to have some of the, um, the creations uh, which have been done during the uh, VR gem with the Oculus Rift, the virtual reality gem. So we're going to have at least one of the games. To, to show, which have been done <coughs> during this gem. And uh, Token Play is also organized in collaboration with Amaze, Amaze Festival, which started in Berlin, but now it's uh, just like Open Tech School, it's getting international. It's, uh, it's taking place uh, right now, actually in, in one week, it's gonna take place in South Africa. And also this summer, there was also like a smaller event in Croatia. And uh, the main event, the main festival, uh, takes place uh, here in Berlin in April. And, but as in the next few events, you we will find more about this. And um, so, um, if you signed up on uh, on Meetup uh, for the event tonight, you've been prompted with this uh, question, asking if you wanted to recommend uh, a game to the other people. Uh, and also, if this was optional, and we said that if you can think of any game right now, just write no. Can you guess which one was the most common answer? No, was not. <laughs> and, but that being said, still out of the 90 plus people who, who replied or served today, uh, there were some people who kindly recommended games, and so we're gonna have a quick look at them. Uh, Space Jam, Gunpoint, uh, Captain Forever. Yeah, well, okay, you will find all the list later. It will be, this list will be accessible later, all the slides they showed, so you can go and I have no mouth and I must say, great title, Paperboy, <laughs> classic, little things. Raven, uh, yeah, made in Berlin, this one. Uh, Go home, great game. The beta of my new game is finished <laughs> and I love people to play tennis, so we have a first man. Well done, looking forward to that. Star Conflict, Limbo. Uh, I don't know this one, Papers Please, I haven't played it yet, but apparently it's very good. The planet, Zen. <laughs> this, this is my suggestion, very nice. And last but not least, someone, Christian from the Minigame Gen, recommended Berlin Twine Jam Games. If you were here uh, at the previews talk and play, uh, Astrid, uh, she gave a talk about uh, uh, Twine, this tool to create uh, text-based uh, uh, games. And uh, shortly after Talk and Play, then uh, this idea came up of organizing a Twine Jam here in Berlin. And, uh, and so these, are what these were the results. And these are available online. Again, the URL, you, I will give it to you later. But this, we, di we did it again here just one month ago. And um, so very, very last thing. So uh, if you want to give a talk, 
uh, get in touch, please come later, like write an email or come and talk uh, to me later. And uh, the next dates are going to be end of uh, October and the beginning of December. Uh, we're always looking for speakers, so, so short talks like lightning talks, five minute talks, or a bit longer about anything really more or less game related. Especially would be great, I would really, uh, really love to have uh, more um, uh, women speaking. This time, I'm sorry, I, I failed to. Well, we have, we have Danila, thank you, Danila, but <laughs> mostly it's, it's guys, but uh, we want to improve that. And um, so, uh, if you're going to write down any URLs tonight, you just need to really write down this one because here you will find resources. You will find all games we're going to show, all the slides from all the talks, my phone number, my home address, everything you will find <laughs> it here. And so that's the address. And now let's get started. Thank you.